we are right before the, the last session of the Open Day. So far, things have uh, been very exciting. Extremely interesting discussions, controversial issues, very nice, uh, very thought-provoking uh, presentations. Our keynote speaker, Christos Papadimitriou, was amazing in, in bringing together issues of uh, brain functionality and brain operation, I should say, with uh, computing and uh, theoretical computing abstractions and uh, languages and uh, the infrastructures, where S3 is going, where the European Open Science Cloud is going, open air and open science, the, the whole direction, and how all this is created, how all this is now uh, to be uh, interacting uh, with the Human Brain Project and the eBrain's uh, infrastructure. Turnout is, is extremely uh, high, both from uh, Human Brain Project uh, partners and, and colleagues, but also from the general uh, local community, professors, academics, researchers, uh, students and uh, even the general public. So as the local host, I couldn't be more happy, I couldn't be more proud. I want to thank everyone who was involved in making this a reality. Uh, the program committee, the organizing committee, the sponsors and everyone else. I, I couldn't be more pleased. The Human Brain Project is meeting here in Athens to have its seventh summit. So the summit is the place where all the researchers from the project are come together, exchange their results, discuss research, and we think that the summit is a great opportunity to see what happened during the last year and to look into the future at the same time. Uh, most long-lasting efforts that we have also in the human brain developed, we are now um, in the position to have e-brains. What is e-brains? So, well, if you imagine that the brain is one of the most complex systems uh, in the world and that we have just 86 billion nerve cells, each having 10,000 synapses, so how would you like to approach this complexity? There is not one single method that allows you to approach it, but rather we should think about a platform where researchers can collaborate, share data, and uh, integrate their own research results. And last but not least, these insights into neuroscience are not only important for us to better understand the human brain, but we hope also that we can more and more go into clinical applications to help patients very directly. eBrands is an opportunity for all of neuroscience research in Europe. It's the way we should think about the future, allowing us to have strong arguments that neuroscience, the time has come for neuroscience to really be prioritized, having unique, unique opportunities with completely new tools and ways of doing neuroscience. I'm from BrainScales and um, our main goal is to emulate neural circuits, emulate neural behavior in analog circuits on chips. So we have a speed up factor of 1000 compared to biological real time. And uh, yeah, therefore we can uh, simulate or emulate one day of learning in a few seconds. I'm here uh, at the HBP uh, summit and we have two uh, projects for the silicon brains. We have Spinnaker uh, and we have um, Brain Scales. And uh, these are two projects uh, that same aim to uh, simulate and emulate uh, brains in computers. The booth of the MIP, the Medical Informatics Platform, this is a machine learning tool that allows neuroscientists to uh, perform federated analysis on distributed data. So we are at the booth of machine computing this is an essential feature of the Human Brain Project because of the variety of data that has to be analyzed as well as the complex uh, simulation models that have to be executed. And um, the, one of the biggest aims of the Human Brain Project is to provide a sustainable infrastructure for analyzing and studying the brain. This is why massive computing plays an essential role, not only for the next stage of the HBP, but also for the future of neuroscience. For the supercomputers and in general for the community, we are also bringing the tools and we help also other scientists, especially also in biology, uh, for biological learning and in artificial learning. And we, uh, in, in, in total, uh, give tools in, in general and um, support the community as a whole. 
we are in front of the uh, booth for neurorobotics for the uh, Human Brain Project. Uh, basically, in neurorobotics, what we believe is that um, the brain activity is particularly relevant when it is uh, taken in the context of interactions with the environment. And therefore, our platform from the Human Brain Project provides our uh, colleagues from neuroscience with the ability to embody their brain models and establish interactions with a physically realistic environment. So here we are at the Understanding Cognition booth. This booth uh, showcases what we are uh, studying from animals, humans to models. And uh, the idea here is that everybody can uh, come here, have a look at how uh, the brain works, uh, maybe try a behavioral experiment. They can also make a quiz to try to get a spicy brain. And our work is to uh, put together uh, consciousness. Uh, we study also sleep, memory, um, and uh, multisensory recognition. Uh, in the future, we want to integrate it more and more with computational models. It has been a fantastic summit here in Athens. I was very impressed by the depth of uh, interactions we had. Actually, very many Greek neuroscientists came here. It was a pleasure of interacting. And now, looking forward to the next three years of uh, the remaining funding period of HPP, we are working in particular on uh, the personalization of brain models on multiple scales which will uh, act as in silico prototypes, in silico twins of uh, real patients helping us to move our understanding of brain disease further. It was a fantastic um, meeting and um, as the host of last year's meeting, I can only congratulate people in Athens for running such a nice and exciting summit here. The open day was fantastic, I heard many scientists were here from Greece and, and from, from, from around the HPP. And we had um, lots of good new discussions.